Good. Remains to be seen. Aim to tell me something, I think. So talk. How do I put this? We share a goal. We both need to get into the Borsodi's vault. Both want something that's in there. Why not pool our strengths? Sorry, but what exactly is yours? I have a plan. Spent the last year working on it. On paper. Time to set it in motion. You one I can count on. Come on. I don't even know your name. What's that matter? Matters because you're clearly hiding something. Not just from me, either. Wouldn't be sitting in a cellar in this shit all otherwise. We've all some stain on our conscience. But I've not asked for your hand in marriage. Just for your help in a heist. We break in. Each take what we need, then go our own ways. Try to trick me any way, anyhow. You won't go anywhere. You know that? Because I'll take your head off right where it meets your neck. I'm aware of the risks. So, now that you've threatened me and all, are you in? Or are you not? Before we go any further, you even know what Max Persodi's house is? I know it's in the vault. Didn't answer my question. Neither of you. Willing to help with the heist, or not? The vault. What's in there for you? Something that was stolen from me. Mm, ought to go to the city watch, tell them a crime's been committed, not organize a heist. I've tried. Repeatedly. I see. Cheated by the system, wronged by the world. Doesn't matter. What did they take? Blissed to take a good while. So I'd rather change the subject. You in or not? I'm not a thief. It's opportunity makes the thief, Witcher. I speak from experience. <sighs> Talk. Twenty Redanian soldiers guard the auction house, day and night. Patrols walk in circles around it, and here, past this corner, barracks. Brute force is out. Gotta get in quietly. Exactly. Not the simplest thing, though. Main entrance, armored door, windows, dimeridian bars, but not a fortress out there without a weakness. This one's no different. Patience happens to be my weakness, so dispense with the dramatic pauses and talk. <clears throat> Beside the house stands a tower, from which we can enter the attic. We can't hope to enter the tower from the street on account of the patrols, but there's a window 60 feet off the ground. No shutters, no bars. We've got to get up there and sneak across to the auction house, then down the stairs to the cellar, crack open or blow off the vault door, and voila! Not all bad, except sounds like a lot of work for two. I'm fully aware of that. For this to work, we need two more accomplices. One to scale the tower, drop us a line. The other to open the vault, a safe cracker, and a demolition specialist. I've already identified some promising candidates. All we have to do is select and recruit the best among them. Also your job. I'd uh, prefer to remain largely out of sight. Mm-hmm. Assumed as much given your hood. Anything else? I. But that's among the details. Which you will learn just as soon as you declare. <sighs> Don't really have any other options. So be it. I'm in. But on one condition. No one dies. That clear? As the great son of Nilfgaard. How about we knock back around? Talk some mutually beneficial relationship. Rather get to work. What comes first? First, you have to assemble a crew. Then, there's the Redanian patrols to cull a bit. Too many wandering around. They could get noticed. Break-in artists. Tell me about them. Assuming lack of vertigo to be the first requirement. <laughs> Precisely why my favorite Eveline Gallo. A circus artist known better as the Ermin. Just now performing with her troupe somewhere near Oxenfurt. Her specialities, rhythmic gymnastics. No! Uh, breaking and entering. Not officially, no, but I've compared the route her troops taken with a list of the most audacious thefts in recent years. A perfect match. I would doubt that's a coincidence. 
Bortish is reluctant with another option in Hugo Hoff, alias Beef Patty, the halfling. Think he's fit? Pudgy face doesn't really match my image of a criminal. You'd be surprised. Hugo's notched up more break-ins than you felled monsters. More importantly, two years past, he nicked the gold-plated cop from the roof of the town hall in Novabad. So, the half man. Word has it he's holed up in Oxenfurt in a house near the Nova Grand Gate. Be careful. He's modest in size, but apparently wicked dangerous. All right, opening the vault. Who do we have? Let's start with the fact that one of them's a dwarf. Casimir Bassi, native of Mahakam. A specialist in controlled explosions. Folks say he could blow Novigrad to the high heavens with but a pinch of salt, Peter. Bolt door for him should be a cinch. The problem is, Casimir apparently hung up his detonators some time ago. He married, sired some littler ones, and settled in the village of Olmus. Might wait to turn us down. Any options? Quinto, the North's most famed safe cracker. Arrest warrants out on him in Kedwin, Lyria, Angrin, and Kavir. Sadly, he got nabbed a few days back by one Hans of Sidaris, a prick mercenary. I know the man. Slew an arch griffin for him. Mean fiend, pretty much. Hans or the beast? Both, actually. Hmm. So I'd have to rip one from his cozy home, the other from a cozy cage. Need to think about it. What's this about culling the patrols? Told you, no one dies. Easy. I don't want anyone's death. Just need some folk to be temporarily indisposed. Spit it out. You? Got to approach the garrison's cook. Convince him to spite the soldiers' nosh with something to keep some of them bedridden. One in two, let's say. Today's suspicions. Hmm. Know the formula for a potion that might do the trick. There. See? Brew up a bit of that. Hit the town, find the cook, then convince him to do you a favor. I don't know, cast a spell, toss him some coin. You could also use your fists. All right, I'm off. Got a bit to do. As do I. Get it all done, and we'll meet back here. What then? Then, we'll bug a horse up, down, and sideways. All together. Guts! Ah! Piss off, then! Fuck off! You'll not tell me what to do! What? What's going on here? Ain't it plain? Master Casimir sat upon his roof. Claims he'll blow himself to bits. Bought the wench pearls, silks, satins, and how the fuck she repaid me? Made me a heat banger cuckold! Huh. A falling out in the family? Aye. His Euphemia. She were fine. Pretty as a picture, you might say. And five bairns they has. On the short side, but so well mannered. Always bow, ask after your health. Not at all grumpy like the Elderman's laddies. Till the day Euphemia bundled up her belongings and their bairns, tossed them all on a wagon, and that's all we've seen of her. Master Chasm has been pure yampy since. Balling, whinging, now this. Ah, this'll be one for the plowing annals. Going out with a bang. When this fucking blows, they'll see the fires in Novigrad. I'll try to talk some sense into him. But if he should grow angered? Wench demanded a canopied bed and got it. Silver tableware, she said. Got that too. Lacking nothing, not a thing. What the fuck else was I to give her? Doubt he can grow any angrier. Hail military, our hallowed mother. Keep us from evil. What kind of knob you got? Lately come to poke my Euphemia, eh? Well, you're late. She's gone. 
No, I just... Postmaster said the same. Denied all. Swore on the balls of his gods. And the Egypt I am, I believed the bugger. Three years they bumped about under my nose, then ran off. My granda told it right. Not a bloke out there doesn't want to get between a dwarf wench's trotters. Know what? You're pathetic. What? What the fuck did you say? You heard me. Wanna die? Go jump off a bridge instead of scaring folks shitless. Looky here. Got us a clever one, telling me how to off myself. Even willing to help you. No chance you'll do it on your own. You're not just a cuckold, you're a coward. Me? A coward? I'll no listen to this tripe. Don't you go nowhere, you bastard! I'll tie your bull bag around your neck! <laughs> ah, ah, you bruised my bones. Right splintered them. Oh, oh, oh. Sorry. Would have preferred to talk it out. Thing is, you gave me no choice. Nay, then he apologized. I needed something of the sort. Some fella to knock the muck out of my heat. Oh. So, uh... Mm. What is it you wanted? Want you to open a door. Permanently. So it won't close again. I see. And what might you find on the other side of this door? A reward. Big one. To be split. Enough for everyone. If it come a week past, I'd have sent you the fuck away. But now, now I've nothing to lose. What's it I'm to do? I'll let you know. What? I was a minge here from taking my life. Now you give me the patter of a wench from personnel at manufactory. Didn't he call on us? We'll call on you. You pure mad dafty. Now talk, and didn't you swipe me? Are you giving me the job or not? Know what? Changed my mind. Think we'll both be better off. I'm no use to a witcher either. Oh, shite luck, that. Shite life. Damn it. Pleasure? But who might you be? Whoa, I'll have no pleasure here. Witcher, keep clear of the cage, right? What did he do to step on your toes? Ours? Not ours. But he stuck sticks up a number of bankers' asses. Put a tidy price on his head, they did. And as Master Hands of Sidaris is an enterprising individual, he decided to nab me and claim the reward. Anyone give you leave to talk? Shut your trap! I need Quinto. Alive. And I need coin. Lots of it. Lucky thing I don't much care who pays me. You, or the bankers. Just as I said, an enterprising individual. And just as I said, clamp it shut. Stop interrupting. Where was I? Right. Want me to let him go? Pay up. Same as the wanted posters say. Hmm. Famous mercenary, supposedly. But you're acting like an old fishwife. Just counting the crowns. Counting the crowns. What? I'll not take any insults from some bloody mutant. I prove my mettle at Hag, Dillingen, Brenner, and... All long ago, and probably only half true. You're bold, sure, with your mouth. Oh, that must have hurt that. What? Those words, bark them back, you bastard! Bare fists, make me take it back. If you fail, you'll let Quinto go. Deal? Bloody deal. Lads, give us some space. I need to show this drifter what happens when you cross Hands of Sedaris. <laughs> <laughs> 